everyone, this is Rick Pasek, the Fly Fish Fanatic, and welcome to my tying bench. Today we're going to tie a really simple pattern, a super effective pattern, uh, an absolute staple for uh, um, lakes. Uh, you definitely want uh, patterns like this um, for still waters. Today we're going to do a bloodworm, but it's going to be a little different. Um, it, it, like I said, it is simple, but it's not, because it does have a couple of stages, and it is a little different than a lot of the bloodworms you see out there. So. Today we're going to start, I'll just switch over to the other camera for you guys. We are going to start with a cling hammer. So that's what I've got in there right now is a cling hammer extreme size 14. Okay, so that's that's them there. So that's what I'm going to start with. It, it, it is a fairly large um, hook, but that's what it's going to end up looking like. S something similar to that. Okay. It, it, uh, it, they change almost every one of them that I tie is a little bit different. So um, today we are for the underbody. It's going to be um, um, some Zemperfly uh, microglint in the in the blood red. Uh, some Zemperfly nano silk in the twelve watt in red. Um, liquid lace. Sorry, there you go. Liquid lace in midge clear. Uh, this is the smallest size. Of the liquid lace and a little bit of black wire and small um, small or uh, or extra small or are the two sizes that I like using here so so start your thread near the head here um, you want to keep it fairly slim you don't want to you don't want it too thick here I mean blood worms are are fairly small right so you, you do want to keep it thin but you don't have to be paranoid about keeping it thin either so it's going to go all the way back to roughly where the barb is where it's coming around that bend there okay now i'm going to tie in my go back here just a little ways because i want to like again it's not that i worry too much about keeping it crazy thin um but I do want to keep it uniform. So I'm going to take my black wire and you can use a darker red, a black, a, a dark green, whatever you like. I like using the black. I, I want this rib to stand out a bit. So I'm just going to tie it in on the top here and then with touching wraps I will oops I actually missed it I'm actually gonna flatten that thread out a little bit so just tie that in keep it on the wherever you end up keep getting it and whether it's on the top or on the side keep it there right so this time it actually slid over to the side of it so that's totally fine just keep it on that side then. So again, it's uniform. It doesn't have any bumps and stuff, right? So I'm going to go all the way around the corner there. Then I'm going to come back a little bit ways. I'll keep my wire out of the way. Now, I don't know if any if you guys are watching, have you ever used this type of thing, the liquid lace? Um, it is really, 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 really stretchy. Like, really stretchy. Um, but it'll leave a bump if you just tie it in like that. Right, so take your lighter, just melt that end of it and then pull it and see how it gets nice and thin like that. It looks all gross and wrinkly, but that's okay. Cut most of that off. You just want it nice and thin there. So there's a nice thin tie-in point. It's still really strong. Now you keep it in on your side, that thin tie-in point. And then you just, with touching wraps, sometimes it does fold over like that. So you don't want to be too tight, but you want it tight so that it, you can see how it's it's staying down, right? So that stuff will that's not too bad. So I'm gonna unspin my thread again, get it flat, bring this all the way forward to just behind my eye, flatten it just a little bit again, get that lace out of my way. See, these clink hammers, if 
you guys know about clean cameras, right here, they, it, it, you saw that it's got a, it's got an actual bend there. It's not a smooth bend. Um, you can use a, a, a different nymph style hook or a swimming nymph or, a, or, or the clink hammer. I found that I like the clink hammers for this pattern, um, but it's, it's not crucial that you use the clinks. So I just whip finish that off, cut off my thread, come in with my micro glint, start behind the eye. Off your waist. I'm just gonna make sure this liquid lace is out of my way. All the way down to the tie in point and a little bit past, and then back up again. Like I said, you want this to be fairly uniform. So if you have to go back over an area to thicken it a bit, go ahead and do it. So now up here, I'm going to go back and forth a few times because I want a bit of a bulbous head. Not not huge, but this is the first half through uh, half to quarter, quarter to half an inch. I want it to be just a little bit thicker. So that's about it. So it's not a lot. Uh, just do a careful whip finish. Oh, that didn't take. Like I said, you got to be careful with this stuff when you whip finish it. That time it did. Okay, cut that off. Tie in your thread again. Build just a little bit of a head area. Oops. And then I am going to do a, a whip finish, a half hitch here, because I know that when I'm playing around, the last one that I did actually fell off. So I just want to make sure it's it's in there when I'm doing the next part. So now I'm going to wrap towards you, and the first few wraps are going to be right down there, and they're going to be tight. Right, I want it tight because I want it thin as it comes up. And then touching wraps, and I'll slowly, slowly, oh, that one didn't touch, I'll slowly loosen off as I come up. And again, don't be, don't be in too much of a hurry with this. The nicer, smoother body you've got here, the, the less work you have to do later with the UV resin. So yeah, so touching wraps as close as possible, touching wraps. I mean, if you've got a little gap, it's not a big deal. But again, this is uh, this is one of those patterns that I like tying when with, with my magnifying glass. But to try to do that while filming for you guys, it yeah, ain't gonna happen. So. Guess the old guy here is gonna have to go out and buy himself some of those clip-on magnifying glasses, so I can uh, I can see better for these smaller flies and with the light in my face. So now I'm gonna lock it just with one crossover, two crossovers. And yeah, I'm white, and I'm gonna pull. I want that tight. I want it thin. So I'm gonna make it nice and tight. Actually, he's moving the hook. I'm pulling it so tight. Okay, because I want that I, I want that liquid lace to to stretch and thin out there. So now I'm going to pull it and cut it. You see how it sucks itself right back in. Uh, it didn't all the way. Actually, I didn't catch all of it. That's okay. I will now. There we go. Now I did for sure. Don't worry what the head looks like right at this time. So now I'm going to take my rib and I'm just going to counter rib this. It's not, it more than anything, it's to, uh, to hold that liquid lace in place and to just give that hint of segmentation, right? 
you see it, but you, it, it's not really standing out in this pattern. So lock it, front, behind, 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 and then back over top again. Okay, helicopter that off. I'm gonna do a bit of, bit of a head here. I wanna build just a wee tad of a head. Sorry that my finger's in the way, but. So a little bit of a head there, and I'm gonna whip finish. And I personally like putting a bit of a, a dark head on here. Uh, you can leave it just like that. And I would leave some just like that. But what I do, where did I put it? Uh, is I'll take a uh, just a felt pen. And I'm just going to give it a bit of a, just a bit of a color on that head. Just to darken it a bit. That's why I said you didn't have to worry too, too much about the thread, right? Because you're gonna paint that area anyway. So, let's see if I can get, and the lighting is terrible today. Yeah, it's really shadowy. I don't know why it's so shadowy today, but uh, let's see if that'll help. No, that's even worse. It's even worse for you guys, but uh, maybe I gotta put a different shirt on or something. Maybe it's uh, glaring back, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So that's that's the finished product, like up to the tying portion. Now I'm gonna take some Gulf Thinman. And I'm just gonna put a A, th a thin coat of the thin min on. Okay, just a thin coat. If you, if anything, you want it a little bit thicker and bigger up at the uh, in the area of the head. So, if you're gonna do anything thicker, do it up that that way. Just turning it just to keep it from setting and uh, like bulging down like flowing so now I'm gonna hit it with my UV light and once I've hit it for a few seconds then I can slow down the turning but I like turning it like that because that'll help uh, help uh, even out the, the coating so so there man that lighting is absolutely terrible on this one it looks really dark and it's not <laughs> There. Maybe I'll have to do. Maybe I have to have the light almost right on top of it. That's a bit better, but you can see how that's how that's coated. Now I, I'll put another couple of coats on that, but that is the finished product. And then I'll uh, I'll fish this in the same way I'll fish any any old coronamid. Um, I will uh, sometimes I'll hang it under indicator. Sometimes I'll fish it naked. 
Um, I want this. These these I find fish really well uh, early season, and I find they fish really well late season and deep. You like not deep, but down at the bottom. Um, anytime you're going beyond about uh, 10, 12 feet. Um, this color red is out of the color spectrum anyway so um, but uh, in that up to up to about 12 feet I, f I like fishing these fairly close to the bottom um, and I like having that I love having the uh, micro glint on these ones um, and, and sometimes I'll use a, uh, a uh, hollow flash for the underbody sometimes I'll use this micro glint um, I'm really liking this micro glint it really picks up the light really well you can see that how it picks up the light of my tying light right so it uh it really does pick up the light well unfortunately i wish this was i wish this would stand out a bit better for you guys with the light but uh i'm gonna have to uh improve my lighting situation i think here because this isn't the greatest having something white behind it helps right behind it no not really so well, I hope that we're, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, like I said, the lighting could have been better. And, I mean, hopefully the picture will be better when I take a nice picture of it. But that is a really, really simple uh, uh, bloodworm pattern that I like using. Um, and like I said, it's 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 simple to tie. You just got to take your time with it and make sure it's it's nice and uniform as much as possible. Alrighty. If you like that, give that a thumbs up. And uh, so, so if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And uh, hit that notification bell. Um, uh, that way you won't miss any of my future videos. And let me know what you want to see. Uh, anything from lakes to ocean to tropical to rivers, nymphs, dries, everything. So just let me know what you want to see and I'll see what I can do for you. Tight lines. See you on the next time video.